Hello and welcome to Black Rings and Rush Studio. Today we are back with some Walking Dead, the Telltale series, A New Frontier. It's all a bit of a mouthful there. It has been a fucking hot minute. Um, so I just want to quickly show you, just in case you are new and you want to see what we did. Uh, in the first episode, we chose to stay the night in the junkyard. We also chose to shoot the driver. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Players got locked up. And we went with trip to the junkyard. And 85.9% of the players stayed with Clementine. Episode 2, 66.9% of players told David and Kate, uh, told David Kate wanted to leave him. 62.2% players opened fire, 88.5% of players took him at his word, which is Jesus, 92.9% of players killed Conrad, fucking too right, and 96 of players, 96% of players capitulated to Max's demands. So we're going to dive straight in and play episode 3, I just need to go back, 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 bosh, start episode 3. Above the law, shocking developments drive a wedge between brothers in arms. So at the end, we did meet our brother. If you would like to see the actual gameplay that I did, uh, there is a whole playlist. Uh, it should be attached previously to it. On the so Dead. Here we go. We've got it previously, so I'm just going to whack this on so you guys can listen to this. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pippo's awake. <laughs> Solamente está confundido. Mamá. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey. Was letting him live, bastard. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Thanks. Mari! Oh, shit! Kate! Javi, don't! Hey. What do we call you? Jesus! Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking psycho in that job. And what finally. What the hell's going on out here? Bam, bam, bam. Oh my god. Ta da! The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Come on, let's get into it. I've been waiting two months for this. I hate being out so close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little, in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it. And that we didn't have to risk life and limb. I can do this myself, you know. I'm not too late for you to turn around. Who's gonna watch your back if I'm not here? Besides, I can't just hole up in this house forever. I need... I need to get used to being out here. Okay. If we're Good lucky, on you. we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. Oh, this might be when we break up and we have to get in the car and go. There it is! Let's take it and go. <clears throat> Empty. You've got to be fucking kidding me! God damn it! <sighs> of course it's empty. Why would we get that lucky? Don't beat yourself hey, up. Hey, hey, don't beat yourself up about it. It was worth a shot. It just... Didn't work out. I'm sorry. I'm just sick of this shit. I just thought... 
This one time, we deserve to catch a fucking break. Oh god. Oh god, that's a kid. Ah, ah. Ah, fuck, get off me. Don't go near the door, don't go near the door. I'm sorry. I was just so fucking scared. You, you froze. It's okay. I wanted to kill it. I really did, but I know him. That was one of Cave's friends. True. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sure he was a, a good kid. He's not a kid anymore. He's just one of those things. Dead. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead. <sighs> Muertos. That's Muertos. what we we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. I'm right here, okay? I'm here. You're here. We're still alive. That's what matters. Can we go back now? That is pretty grim. I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back, but it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there for an empty can. So, we'll leave. Go somewhere else. Somewhere safer. Somewhere with crazy thick walls, okay? And a gate that's 20 feet tall. Yep. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What God, they're so young. Me? Cave. We're safe inside the house. We're tired of being afraid. Every time we leave you guys alone. And it's just getting worse out there. Better to leave now. While we still can. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? Your dad would want us to do this, Gabe. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. God, I oh. fucking hate this kid. I'm sorry, Gabe, but Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? Yes, Please. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Gabe, honey. What? Tell him. Tell him how it is. What's, what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean... He was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. Yeah, get rich, little snot gobbler. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we gonna tell him? I wanna say something good. Tell him we'll find him. 
Somehow, we're all gonna see each other again. I like that. I'm gonna write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really. What was that look for? What was that all about? I presume she thinks he's dead. Okay. That thing does look like a zombie. Take the bat. Take the bat. Doesn't look like daylight break. Why would you not take your fucking bat? Dad? Javi? Is that really you? <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. I can't fucking believe this. It's... I mean, it's you. Couldn't have said it better myself. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, hon. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. We got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. Shot by your we fucking your people, doctor. you bastard. Now, David. Thanks, Javi. For getting her here. She's coming inside! But she hasn't been checked! This is my wife, Max. You want her to die? No! Nope. I didn't say that! Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them. Don't you get it? I'm David's brother. I'm going to the hospital with them. We have procedures here. Procedures that have to be followed. Even if you are related to David. This is bullshit. Come on. The sooner you come along, the sooner we can get you cleared. Gabe, wait a second. Fuck you, little prick. Let's go. The annoying little shite knocker he is. Trip. Oh, hey, God. she's all right. When we found the car without you in it, I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. They definitely didn't look for her, because she was still in the car. But that's crazy! I told them she was dying! And clearly it wasn't a priority. 
Well, at least those assholes realized she needed a hospital once they saw her. I'm sorry, Javi. The only reason you got help is because they fucking knew her. I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. They're New Frontier. Oh my god. Oh, 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 you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. I just didn't think she had a husband out there, is all. The only reason I know Kate is because she married David. I was the best man at their wedding. Wow. Okay. Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott, Javi, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Javi. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! I Throw fucking know that. Your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, I hate to admit it, but there's a chance he gave the order. If he didn't know it was them, if he was just trying to get payback for what was stolen, it, it's possible. What was he like when you knew him? An asshole. You guys get along. He seemed happy enough to see you up there. Things between me and him were complicated. Some days we'd be at each other's throats. Other days we could shoot the shit for hours and still find stuff to talk about. So he's a moody son of a bitch, huh? Yes. If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just gonna let things slide. I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of something something come on already Kate's asking for you maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting what about the rest of my friends they're not invited hurry up now looks like the rules don't apply to everyone huh that's right some people get out of here early others stay a long fucking time trip just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Thanks. Oh, he does not look happy. No, no one's going to close the door? Oh, okay then. <laughs>